I'm gonna go back to my roots with Amelda. So there's Amelda. She starts with the magic missiles. Slowly walk away from the super bat. There we go. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, hurry definitely makes this a lot harder. And the enemies on the first level are just so much easier than the enemies on the third level. I always hate it when you break a light source and it's a coin. Like that's a single coin is nothing. Okay. Try to focus down the boss. Okay, cross. I want to be able to level up weapons right now, because the sooner I can evolve my weapons, the better I will do. Because, like, a single evolved weapon does a lot, unless it's the Gadiamari, <laughs> and then it does not. Now, the Gadiamari is, is a good weapon, it's just... It's really hard to focus on the Gadiamari to start with, because it doesn't protect you from anything, like, you need something to protect you. Like, a zone like this, for example, that you can stand in, and it'll keep you safe. It's like the King Bible makes things so much safer for you. You always have something, like, surrounding you to, like, destroy projectiles and stuff. Unless I get hit by things and, like, hear the damage sound, I'm like, I have no idea what could possibly have just hit me. Partially because, holy shit, everything happens at once in this game. That's... Aw. They pushed some of the plants out of out of their spots, so like there's now a hole in the garden. Hey, okay, bats, 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 bats. There. Okay. That was kind of dangerous. This is actually the perfect time to use my garlic now, because the garlic just destroys the skeleton horns so fast. Okay, I can now evolve. The, da the daggers as soon as I get a boss chest. So please die. Yes! Oh! A quintuple chest! There we are! That's the Thousand Edge. 1400, wow! And this is the Thousand Edge right here. Just infinitely firing daggers. They're really good for clearing a path through things. And they can just shred bosses. Like this one, for example. The Thousand Edge is a really good evolution to go for first. Pretty much, irregardless of the map. I just shred anything in my way. It's just nothing can stand in front of you. You always have a clear path forwards. And... grab the cross. I need to find the empty tome as quickly as possible. Finish is always good. Empty tome. Okay. Next boss, I can evolve the magic wand then. I'm trying to like get to all the red crystals I can. Okay, good. I'll hide there. Oh. There we go. Magic wand upgrade. Upgrade the holy wand. Fires no delay. Oh, it's the exact same as the Thousand Edge, just it auto-fires in whatever direction it feels like. One more level, I think, and then I can evolve the garlic into the Soul Eater. Oh, there's a lot of things going on right now. Do I have the last level of the garlic? No, I don't. Damn it! Okay, I need to level up the garlic or the cross right now, and then I can immediately evolve them. Heaven Sword. Okay, I need to kill a boss now. Again. Now I can upgrade the fire wand to the hellfire. Garlic? Okay, can upgrade the garlic now. Hellfire. From the fire wand. Okay, I'm starting to get like a nice little mix of abilities that kind of mesh together. The garlic keeps things away from stuff that's, like, things that are close to me, it keeps away. The Thousand Edge cleaves the path for me. The Hellfire and the, the Heaven Sword both 
just like mass clear enemies to like keep the numbers down and hopefully the Gadiamari will help with keeping the numbers down soon as soon as I evolve it. I need to level it up a bunch first because I've been kind of neglecting it. It's really rough when the bat horde pushes things into you. Otherwise the bat hordes are great for XP. Gadiamari. Eh. Out of my way. Through. Eh. Stop pushing flowers into me. Flowers hurt, they're prickly. Gadiamari, Gadiamari. Now I can evolve the Gadiamari. General damage. Uh, what do I have left? Okay, so I can evolve the Gadiamari I can, and I can evolve the Garlic. Both now. I just need a chest. I need two chests. Okay, I see the boss right here, and then there's two to the left. Okay. okay, Gadiamari's been evolved into Vicious Hunger. That'll keep, help keep the enemy account down a lot. And I can focus fire bosses with a knife. Evolve the garlic now to the soul eater. And now my my hex effect is complete. Because this will life steal for me. Like if you watch my health, it's going up right now. Keep me healthy. And it will also destroy any projectiles that come at me. Oh, there's the purple boss. This is the boss here of the stage. A thousand edge makes short work of it. At some point, I want to try Clock Lancet, Laurel, Thousand Edge, and then three other ones. I'm not sure which other one. And I want to try to take down the Reaper. Thousand Edge will deal the damage. The Laurel, whenever it gets unfrozen from the Clock Lancet, will protect me from its attacks at one shots. And, well, the Clock Lancet will keep it frozen. But I need three other things to, like, kind of support that. Ideally, things that can focus fire. Maybe the magic wand as well. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is actually getting really dicey. This is actually getting really dicey. <laughs> okay, clearing a path for the super bats. Ten seconds. Five seconds. One. And Reaper. Cool! I completed the stage. I'm not going to bother reviving because the Reaper... The, I, unless I can freeze the Reaper, there's no point. I, I can't kill him. Hold six different weapon evolutions at once. Unlock Tarona's box. I would love to see what's in Tarona's box. Oh, yes it is. No, it's a perk. It works with a weapon that I don't have. <laughs>